Hey guys, what is up? Samuel Scorpio here, bringing you guys this video talking about the mutations options inside of Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now, as you may see, once you get into a custom match, you can pretty much set up mutations however you may like, and these will give you hundreds of options to allow you to customize your game however you may like, to generally create challenges and plenty of fun experiences for you and your team. So you can create a whole different modes pretty much through this, it's actually insane. So I'm going to go through generally how these work and go through how each mutation works. So to get to mutations firstly, I'll just leave the lobby to explain. You click this little button here from the zombies home screen, I don't know what it's meant to show, but you click that, I think it might show mutations, and then you click edit game rules. And this is where you have all your many options to customize your game experience. So we're going to go through each one and just generally explain quickly how it works. So first we have the starting round here. This is pretty much as you expect. You can set this as high as 50, so you start right off at round 50, a lot of fun there. You can set a round cap, so the game ends when you reach a certain round, so I guess to take a time of how fast you reach you know, a round. Plenty of challenges there for craft to customize with on this League of the Undead. Similar thing for time cap, so I guess how many rounds you can get in time. You can have an on-screen timer up here, which I think is a really cool little addition there. And also same thing for a kill cap, where, well, the game winds after so many kills. Lots of fun speedrunning things you can kind of get there. I think that'll be very interesting. Special rounds, I guess this is like dog rounds, you enable and disable them. The equivalent of them in this game. So traps, again the same, just on and off. And starting weapons, so pretty much you get give players choice to you know having you know, they can choose their starting weapon, or they're just straight up given the default one and they don't get a choice. So moving on to systems, this is probably the biggest chunk. So first I was going to power. We can just have power allowed or not allowed, so I'm pretty much sure, sure this just means power's on from the start or not. You can have default, on, off. Next up we have power doors, which is just, well, a power doors all locked, default or open. So default will be to open with power. Next up we have barricades which doors pretty much very simple here you can have it so every door is open across the map really cool wee thing there and same goes for barricades you can have it so there's no zombie barricades at their spawn. Next up mystery box changes this is going to be a lot of fun for me for trying to get wonder weapons and stuff out of the box to get you guys all the gameplay you need. It's going to be very easy so you can have it either mystery box off altogether or it's only on during a fire sale or just the normal default, or even just always on. You can have it number of, can be number of uses before it moves, up to 10. Number of uses limit in game altogether, you can set up to over 50, yeah. And you can set it to be a limit so you can only use it up to 10 times around if that's what you'd like. So, you know, people can't just spam the box with the best weapons. Next up we have perks, which is just perks are on and off, and then you can toggle each perk individually if you want to disable some particularly powerful ones, like your own PhD, Winter's Whale, well. disable particular perks if you want to prevent your team from just kind of abusing everything for challenges. Uh, pack a punch, always on, always off, default, so this is pretty much just means, well, the pack quest doesn't need to be done, which is a nice little skip, and same for double pack, you can have that on and off, so pretty much everyone can just well, not use the massively OP ones, similar to the Black Ops 3 ones. Next we have power-ups, so generally will they spawn or not, how frequently do they spawn, the number that will spawn per round, the number allowed per round, so I believe this is the number, I'm not actually sure exactly, I think that's just a generally enable stable limit, and there's where you configure the limit, which is a weird way, and then you allow and disallow every single drop you can choose. Double points, carpenter, double, no, bonus points, that's like uh, when you pick up money. Fire sale, insta kill, max ammo, nuke, and special weapon full meter. Next up, war buys. Sorry, that's elixirs, just generally on or off, as you expect. And then we have elixirs here where you can have them allowed or not. You can configure the cooldown speed to be faster or slower. And then you can disable each rarity per your choosing. Then every elixir can be turned on and off. So there isn't really as many that are massively OP in this, they've definitely balanced them better than Black Ops 3. So you can kind of configure that, so if you want to save with some particular ones, because it will ruin we the challenge, so you can do that. Talisman's the same principle, on or off. Talismans are pretty much things that will affect the game as a whole for the whole game, so either how it starts or the whole game, which is a nice little thing, and again, disable each one and disable each rarity. 
Next up, weapons. So you can pretty much disable each weapon class, I guess. That just means you straight up can't buy it. Okay, <laughs> nice little thing here. So I guess if you don't want people, maybe if you want to have a snipers only challenge, you can do that. Allow the special weapons. These are the ones which you equip to your class. You can have them on or off. You can also configure how fast it will charge between slow, five times as slow, or two times as fast. One to weapons, on or off, very simple. Equipment, on or off, and also the charge speeds because equipment will actually recharge over time in this game. You don't get new ones per round. And finally the shield, in this category anyway. Again, you can turn it on or off so that the shield can't be built and got. And you can also configure its durability so it can be double, half, or default. And finally you can have it so you can actually heal highlights, sorry not heal, highlight the shield pieces so you'll be able to see them through walls. That's going to make it really great for me to make shield guides and stuff. I can go right in and see those pieces for you guys. Next up in terms of enemies, we can have headshots only. That's going to be a fun one to practice your accuracy if you want to go for headshots. That's where I go. Crawlers, only crawlers, no crawlers, or generally normal. Zombie spread, I believe this is how much they group together, so loose zombies are going to make training very hard. Tight is going to make it probably easier, I'd say. Oh, may, may have that backwards, I'm not sure. The minimum speed, so if you want all zombies to be sprinters, you can do that. If you want all zombies to be walking, you can do that. Cool little thing there. I guess default is just walk to super sprint. Damage multiplier, this is the amount of damage they do to, so you can do double, so you'll be a two hit. Or half, so it'll be a one hit. No, six hit, sorry. Health multiplier, you can adjust how much health they have to be double half again as normal. And special zombies, there's four types of special zombies in this game. Heavy, mini boss, catalyst and vermin. Vermin is stuff like dogs, mini boss I believe is stuff like Brutus and things like that and then catalyst would be like the stokers on voyage and stuff. The different fiery and ice zombies I believe, I think that's how that works anyway. And finally we have player configurations. Firstly, you can change generally how much health they have, so you can give yourself 6 bars of health, which is pretty much equivalent to Jug, Rip Jug, 2018. Next, regen delay, so how quickly before you start regening again. The regen speed, as you expect. If kills give you health or not, so you can have it so when you get a kill, you get your health back, that's really cool. Health drain, allow or disallow health drain to, to uh, others. So pretty much the way this works, if you kill zombies, you get health. Uh, and friendly fire, what, what could I say, that's going to be so much fun, I can't wait to mess about with that. <laughs> Wish you could do that in public lobbies. Fixed points, this is kind of just disabling whether, well, the number of starting points you have. The ability to earn points in the game on and off, which is weird. <laughs> just straight up disabling points, that's an odd one. Uh, starting points, you can configure this up to I believe 50,000 points, so great to you know just generally get started. Minimums, well, zero. Uh, points lost when hit, so if you get hit, you lose points, and then you can have it actually, so it's either percentage or a particular number. And then again, points lost on down, points lost on death, and on teammate deaths. You can configure them on and off to a particular percentage. And finally, last stand, this is our last category. So how long you will generally be in last stand, I believe, before you bleed out. The limit of number of times you can down before the end of the game, so I guess if you down too many times you'll just be stuck in spectator. Self revive count, the number of times you can be self revived having been knocked down can go up to I believe 100. Just mental. <laughs> Retain weapons after death, so I guess if you bleed out you'll still have your weapons. And perks decay in last stand, this is where you lose your perks over time in last stand. You can actually prevent that, so well, you lose them instantly which is tough. But pretty much guys, that's gonna be all the mutations that we have here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. If you have, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Black Ops War Zombies all day long. I'll see you on more videos. Peace.